Welcome to Short Story Study. Today we're going to look at a love story, a funny love story. It's called The Love of My Life. First of all, let's read the story together and then we'll study the four focus areas. So let's read the story. A young boy asks his granddad, how did you meet Gran? Grandad replies with a twinkle in his eye. I saw two women. One of them was the most beautiful blonde ever. She was standing next to an average looking brunette. And I said to myself, I'm going to marry that woman. The boy says excitedly, and you did marry her. Nope, says Grandad. What happened then? I married the brunette. So uh, Grandad didn't get the woman he wanted. He didn't get the most beautiful blonde ever. He got the average looking brunette. So let's look at the four focus areas we're going to look at today. The grammar is superlative plus ever. The vocab is the word brunette. The expression is with a twinkle in one's eye. And we're going to look at the pronunciation of woman and women. So let's look at focus area number one first, the grammar. The structure we're going to look at is superlative plus ever. We use this structure to say that something is the most extreme or the number one thing in our life. It can be used literally or it can be used to emphasize. So what do we mean when we use this structure? Let me give you an example. I can say, imagine I go to the cinema and I see a really bad movie. I can say, that was the worst movie ever. Okay, so I've used the superlative worst and ever is to emphasize. Now, is it really the worst movie in my life that I've ever seen? Probably not, but it doesn't have to be literal. It can just be used to emphasize, okay? On the other hand, we can use it literally. We can use this structure to mean that really was the worst or the best or the most delicious thing. For example, if I go to Italy and I eat a fantastic Italian pizza and it really was the best pizza in my life, I can say, wow, this is the most delicious pizza ever. This means it is very, very delicious. So let's look at focus area two now, the word brunette. It simply means dark brown hair, but we usually only use this word to describe a woman's hair, okay? And it can be used as an adjective or a noun. So we use this to describe women's hair, which is dark brown. Let me give you an example. Remember, we can use this as a noun or an adjective. So I can say, wow, look at that beautiful brunette woman. Or I can say, look at that beautiful brunette. In the second sentence, it's just a noun. So the woman herself is a brunette, you see? Now in Western culture, we usually have a distinction between blondes and brunettes. It usually uh, generally describes light-haired women and dark-haired women. So men usually have a preference. We usually ask a man, do you prefer blondes or brunettes? Okay, so it means what kind of uh, hair do you prefer, light or dark, blondes or brunettes? So that's the word brunette. Focus area three is the expression with a twinkle in one's eye. What does this mean? It actually means to show happiness 
and positive emotions, especially when talking or thinking about something. So this is a very nice expression to say someone looks very happy, especially when they talk. So for example, I can say the girl spoke with a twinkle in her eye. This means as she was speaking, she looked very happy and joyful, positive emotions. I can also say, imagine my brother, he loves his children. And whenever he talks about them, he's very happy and joyful. So I can say, he always talks about his children with a twinkle in his eye. You see, twinkle actually means like uh, a star twinkles. It's when light blinks. So we use this expression to mean something or someone is happy and cheerful when they talk or when they think about something. Their general expression is happy. Finally, let's look at focus area four. This is the pronunciation. Now I chose these two words, woman and women, to focus on because I hear many, many people pronouncing them incorrectly. So let's look at the pronunciation of these two words. So the singular form is woman. It's easy to remember because the final three letters spell man, which is also singular version of the male. So woman is the singular and women is the plural. Again, the final three letters, men, is also the plural of the male, man. So the pronunciation of the second syllable in woman is unstressed. And the two vowel sounds in women are the same. So woman, the singular, is the second, uh, the second syllable is unstressed. We don't say woman, okay? Even though we say I'm a man, when we say woman, the second part is unstressed. The stress is on the first syllable, w, woman. Now, the plural, women, even though the vowel sounds in the spelling are different, W-O-M-E-N, the sounds are exactly the same. It's the I sound, women, women. This sound is actually the same. And don't say women, even though M-E-N spells the plural of men, Women is a different sound. Women. Okay, the vowel sound is the same. Women. I hear many people pronouncing this incorrectly, so I thought it was a good one to look at. Woman, singular. Women, plural. Now, let's go back to the story. Try to think about what we just learned and studied. It's all highlighted in orange for you so you can clearly see what we went through. A young boy asks his granddad, how did you meet Gran? Granddad replies with a twinkle in his eye, I saw two women. One of them was the most beautiful blonde ever. She was standing next to an average looking brunette. And I said to myself, I'm gonna marry that woman. The boy says excitedly, and you did marry her. Nope, said Grandad. What happened then? I married the brunette. So, I hope you took much more from the story the second time. Remember, don't stop there. What should you do next? You should download the MP3 and PDF of the story, which you can find in the description box below. Download the MP3, listen many, many times, and repeat after me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.